Good morning, praise the Lord. Today, 23rd February, we'll talk about uh, uh, Moses' appreciation of God. Moses acquired an extensive knowledge of the Lord. This he got partly through direct revelation and partly through personal experience. God humbled himself so much that he revealed himself to his servant in an exceptionally intimate way, speaking to him face to face as a man speaketh to his friend. This, we see, this sentence we see in Exodus 33, 11. Moses also came to know much of God from his own experiences. I will show you two examples. <clears throat> First is because God had delivered him from the sword of Pharaoh, Moses gave the name of Eliezer, which means God of help, to his second son. This we see in Exodus 18, 4. He realized that the God of his father was his help. He recognized God's providence in his life, especially when one of his uh, brethren incidentally alerted him to his danger. While, while talking to each other, Exodus uh, 2, 13 to 15, if you read that, you'll understand. Second is, his covered face and uncovered feet during his first encounter with the Lord show that uh, he knew about the reverence he had to show while in God's presence. He must have learnt it early from his parents. This incident we see in Exodus 3. In the East, uh, removing one's sandals is a form of respect. God's visitation made the ground holy. Among his many abilities, Moses could sing. He must have learnt it while he was uh, tending his flock in Midian. David also, who was a shepherd, learnt to sing while he was a shepherd. There only he wrote many of his psalms. The shepherds must be enjoying the greatness of God in the open fields and in their loneliness, in the creation around them. Uh, scripture records one psalm, that is 90, and two songs in Exodus 15 and Deuteronomy 32, which Moses composed. Each pulsates with his enjoyment of the Lord, both in his nature and his glorious acts. How Moses loved to speak to him, and of him, uh, this is written in those Psalms. He enjoyed God's voice several times and obeyed them. Today's readings show us the range of Moses' appreciation of God. Moses knew him as a God of truth, a God of wrath, a God of forgiveness, a God of knowledge, and a God of great power manifested by way of example. In Israel's redemption from bondage, both in Egypt as well as at the parting of the Red Cross. In Numbers um, 16, 30 to 32, we see the earth opening to swallow up Korah and his company, who went against Moses. Moses knew God as jealous and just, as merciful and gracious, as awesome and invisible, as long-suffering and eternal, as glorious in holiness and abundant in goodness. Moses spoke both of his greatness and in beautiful word pictures of his gentleness towards his people. Uh, Moses was saying, The Lord your God carried you as a man carries his son in Deuteronomy 1.31 and bear you on eagle's wings in ex ex uh, Exodus 19.4. He says this to the people. Yet, although Moses knew so much of God, he longed above anything else to know him even more intimately and to enjoy his presence continuously. This we see in Exodus 33, 13 to 16. Let's pray. Lord, give me this kind of zeal to know you more intimately. Please help us to understand you better. In Jesus' precious name I ask. Amen. God bless you.